From Poly Prep Country Day School in Brooklyn, New York, we welcome you into the Terrier Sports Network's coverage of St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers soccer. As tonight, the Terriers take the pitch against the Bryant Bulldogs, who come in at 3-1 and one in second place in the Northeast Conference, with the Terriers sitting at 5-4-1 and one overall, but just 1-3 and three in conference play. And in the air for Naranjo. He swings it up into the box, and the first player to get there was George Gill for Bryant. Played along to Alex DaCosta, but Yohan Asamin able to force the turnover. He sends it back into the box. A redirection for the Terriers just goes wide of the goal mouth, and it heads its way out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. Callum James, the long try up ahead. Bryant whiffed on the opportunity, and now... Yusufi giving chase down into the corner, able to save it in. He crosses back to the middle. The header in on net, and it's a save made by Swartz. As again, the pressure continuing for the Terriers as the short goal kick up the middle is taken away. Here's Yusufi with Swartz coming out, and that's an easy goal for Elmeni Yusufi, and the Terriers take a 1-0 lead. Elmeni Yusufi's sixth of the season puts the Terriers on top, 1-0. Here in the first half. The cross. Shockey with the shot and he scores. The long range missile by Johan Asumin sets up Rami Shockey for the quick strike goal. And the Terriers go up 2 to nothing here in the first. Remedi down in the corner to take this corner kick. Third different guy Terriers have used on corners today. Crossed in toward the back post. Ball sitting up there loose. The shot comes in. Save made. Tepuskovic had it get tipped by Swartz over the top of the goal. It hit the football goal post as they get the turnover in the midfield. Up ahead to Yusufi. His defender fell down. Pass was aggressive in for him. He crosses back to the middle, and Bryant plays it out. Now Remitty lines up a shot that goes up toward the upper corner, and it's saved over the top of the crossbar by Swartz. Positioning. Now with two and a half left, Bryant's got the ball. Looking to advance. They cross inside. Gallardo got there, but it came right to Lee, who fires a shot and a save made by James. He pushes it toward the corner where Puglisi picks it up and sends it up the far side of the field. Going to take a running start, hit the vault, and fire it into the box. Shockey got there first, comes out, cross in front, save made by James. He was looking for the offside to get called, and the flag was up across the track. Trying to fire it into the six and eventually played away. I remember earlier in the year, LaSalle tried that a bunch. Didn't have a lot of success. Now the Terriers on a two-on-one. Staying on side was Belfonte. He's got a run, but what a play made by the goalkeeper, Will Swartz. He's ping-ponging all over the place as Toriani plays it head to Asumin. Terriers trying to play it up. Far side, Belfonte on the run inside the box. Plays a cross back to the middle. Toriani the redirection. And it's a three-goal lead for the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. Still has not touched the ground as it's played ahead. One hop into James, who with his foot plays it offline. Bryant was offside. It does not matter as the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers have defeated the Bryant Bulldogs 3 to nothing, and with it, the losing streak has come to a close at three consecutive games for the Terriers, and they improved to 2-3 and three in conference play, picking up three big points today with a 3-0 win over the Bryant Bulldogs.